In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to quickly install and set up a Django project in Windows. Before starting, there are two prerequisites. The first being that you have Python version 2.7 installed, and the second being that you have pip installed. Now in order to get pip installed, you need to first install setup tools, and you could click the link for a brief tutorial on how to do that. Then if you just open up the command prompt, you can use the command easy underscore install pip to install pip. And once complete, you can now install Django. So to do that, start by navigating to djangoproject.com, click download, scroll down, installation guide, and then click the second option, install an official release under install Django. So there's a couple of different ways you can install Django. You can either use pip or you can download a compressed file. And it's actually much easier to use pip, so we're going to go ahead and do that. You can see the Windows installation documentation here. So let's go ahead and open up command prompt. Go ahead and clear this. And then all you need to do is type in pip install Django. And it doesn't matter which directory you're in because this is going to install Django into your site packages directory. And I've already installed this. I'm going to go and actually upgrade it so you can see uh, what happens. And my Django is already up to date. But if you go ahead and run that same command and don't have Django installed, it's going to go ahead and install Django. Now to set up, we need to begin with creating the basic project. So within command prompt, navigate to the directory you wish to install it in. So I'm going to make a directory. Actually, I'm going to go to my Python 2.7 directory and then make a directory called Django. And then you want to go in and type in this command. So Python and then the and then the path to your site packages. So Python 27 backslash lib slash site dash packages. And then it's gonna be under Django bin and Django dash admin dot py start project and then I'm gonna name the project test project center so then let me show you that was created so there's my Python 2.7 directory here's the directory I just made Django and then here's the test project directory And keep in mind that your path may be different depending on your setup, so be sure to tailor it if necessary. And so next, let's make sure everything is set up correctly. So let's go ahead and cd into the test project. And now we're going to go ahead and run the Django server, but with the command python manage.py run server. So then if you go to a new window, type in localhost, and the port is 8000. So if everything was set up correctly, you're going to see the following output. So next, I'm going to go ahead and exit out of the server, control break. And then I'm going to get a database set up. So SQL Lite is automatically installed with Django. So since that's the easiest one to work with, we're going to go ahead and use that. So let's go ahead and open up the settings.py file. I'm going to right click, edit with Notepad++. So I just need to add SQL Lite here. And then under the name, I want to put the, the path to my test project. 
And you want to use forward slash here, even though this is in Windows. So C Python 27 slash Django forward slash test project. And then you can name the database whatever you like, because if the database doesn't exist, Django will go ahead and create it for you in the next step. So I'm just going to call it test.db. Go ahead and save that. And so now you just need to create the database by running the command python manage.py sync db. And there's actually an error. Let me go back and look at that. And I spelled Django wrong. Let's try that again. Let me go ahead and clear this. All right, it worked that time. And we're going to go ahead and set up a super user. So click yes. And I'm just going to use admin for the username. Email address, I'm just going to enter a dummy email address at admin.com. Password, I'm going to use admin as well. All right, so the setup is complete. And you're now ready to set up an app. And I'll be going over the setup of a basic app in the next few tutorials. Thanks for watching.